A new Lies of P update has arrived, patch 1.5. It brought in a few different bug fixes, even more quality of life improvements. But the major part about the update is going to be its collaboration with Wulong Fallen Dynasty. With its collaboration, it actually brought in a new outfit, which does look pretty cool. But it actually brings in a new weapon as well, the Azure Dragon Crescent Glaive. Soon as you log into the game, both of these items will be available to you in your inventory. Now as for the glaive, which I'm not even lying, this actually might be the best weapon in the entire game. Probably a little bit of recency bias, I have actually played with this for a few hours, it's just insane. This weapon is definitely up there with the Trident of the Covenant and the two Dragon Swords, as for some of the best special weapons in the entire game. But yes, this thing is a special weapon, you can't actually disassemble it. But yeah, not only does it look really cool, like that design is like amazing, but it also performs really good. But to get into the stats, this thing is a technique-based weapon does get a C scaling in motivity as well, which is probably gonna be better for later levels to have like a quality based scaling. But at lower levels, just go with a technique crank and just go all into technique. It doesn't get any critical damage. Its fable charge rate is pretty decent as well. And the damage reduction while guarding is at 58, which is nothing too crazy, but it's not bad either. It actually is on the heavier side, weighing in at 17.9 units. But all of that is well worth it because this thing has amazing range, its light attack combo is extremely good, has very good versatility. Get a mix of like these vertical, horizontal swipes, some downward chops, and even some poking attacks too. But like that second light attack that you actually get is like a double swiping attack. That's not two inputs, that's just literally one input right there. The running attacks this gets is really good as well. The running light attack is a nice horizontal spread, for good for crowd control. The running heavy attack is very reminiscent of the Trident of the Covenant. That thing just covers so much range in such incredible speeds with a nice quick poke. Like look at that running heavy, it's just insane. And this dashing attack is also just very quick pokes as well. You can just keep spamming dash back and forth or just rolling into a quick poking attack. Now it's heavy attack might actually be the worst part about the moveset. It's not bad, but it's just probably like the worst part about it. The charged heavy does actually come out pretty slowly, but the follow-up charged heavy is actually really good. You do this like double spin to an attack that hits in a 360 degree radius. And with how large the weapon actually is, you can wipe out whole rooms of enemies very quickly. And if all that wasn't enough, this weapon's fable arts are just ridiculous. Starting off with the blade fable art, deflect counter attack. It is very similar to guard parry and that this fable art kind of like deflects or parries an attack and then you can do a follow-up attack as well. And typically guard parry is one of the best fable arts in the entire game because it's so cheap. It could do high stagger damage and it can do a high amount of damage for only consuming one fable charge. And deflect counter attack is basically the exact same thing but the difference being is that the timing is actually a lot more forgiving. With guard parry, you always have to like do it a bit earlier before they hit you, but with deflect counter attack, it's the exact same time as a regular parry. And being that it's tied to the blade fable art instead of the handle fable art, all you gotta do is press one button. You can just click the triangle button to do it. You don't have to click L1 and triangle. But the best part about it is that you actually have two different attacks that you can do afterwards. After you get the deflect, you could do a light attack input or a heavy attack input. The light attack is very similar to guard parry. It's like a very quick follow-up attack, but it doesn't consume any fable charge. Like if you successfully get the deflect off and click R1, you won't lose any fable at all, which is just insane. And it's like a pretty quick high damaging attack that actually can stagger enemies pretty quickly. Now the heavy attack, it actually does consume one charge, but it does such monstrous damage that for only one fable charge, like it shouldn't be allowed. Now it is gonna be like a longer animation that you can get staggered out of, but if you time it correctly, this thing can be extremely deadly. But getting into the handle fable art, Storm Slash, this thing for three Fable Charge is just a very high damaging attack, covers nice range, good horizontal spread too. This is just gonna be like your big boy hard hitting one that's gonna do a lot of stagger damage. And paired alongside status effects, it could probably proc those status effects quickly too, being that it's hitting so many times in quick succession. So yeah, this weapon is just absolutely amazing and you get it for free. All you have to do is log into the game and it just gives it to you. Now it is gonna require Moonstone Covenant materials to actually upgrade, which earlier on in the game, they're probably not as accessible. But once you get halfway through the game, they're probably easier to upgrade than regular weapons. If you wanna build around this thing, I definitely recommend pairing it alongside the Conquering Amulet, the Arm of God Amulet, all into a Technique build and either use the Puppet String or Falcon Eyes Legion Arm, because either one of those two will perform extremely well with this weapon. But yeah, I'm not even kidding. This thing is so incredibly easy to use, so much range, good crowd control quick attacks, high damaging attacks. There's like nothing bad that I can really say about this weapon. But yeah, the rest of the video will probably just be some more gameplay. As always, please do like and subscribe. There probably won't be any more like Liza P videos coming along soon until we actually end up getting the DLC, but do subscribe for that as well. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.